So Glenn, you've been on a deep frying bonanza. <laughs> yes. So um, about a week ago when you were away. <laughs> when I was away. Uh, I made steak frites. Steak and I steak thought, frites. eh. I'm just gonna throw the steak in the hot oil after the French fries were done. Mm hmm Yes, you sent me a note. Yes, and so, you said it was quite good. So this is my so chance. So here, here we're gonna go again. Notice the spots. I have you so over there. This is um, the beef fat that I rendered out. Yes. 350 degrees. And uh, is that the beef fat you already cooked the chips in? The chips I cooked in this, yes. Okay. So and just laying so it in there. Laying it in there. 350 degrees. 350. Um, and so I salted it about an hour ago and then I just the usual, yeah, yeah. Tapped it off. You, you don't want it. too much. And so you just want to hold your temperature around. Yeah, I'm just looking at it. Lowered my eyes so I can see it. So you put it in at 360, expecting it to go down to 350. To go down, yeah. That makes sense. That's pretty typical for frying. How long do you? I guess you just take its temperature. Constantly take its temperature. So, so is it like a minute, or is it 10 minutes? I'm waiting like a minute and a half before I check the temperature the first time. Okay. I want to shoot for about 120, uh, and then that'll even out. It should even out to the right temperature. So now we just have to wait another minute, maybe. Yep. I kind of thought this is ridiculous. Deep frying a steak. Like I've, you know, you know, chicken, chicken fried steak. They batter it and then deep fry it. And it's usually like one of those thin, quick, yeah. quick fry. So I started asking around, asking my chef friends, and. Um, they pretty much all admitted that they do this in the back for family dinner, which is the staff dinner before service. Oh, because it's quick and fast and But good. they all they all say, oh, no, we'd never do that for customers. Well, no, I can see that there's an expectation. Uh, yeah, but... That it's prepared a certain way, especially if it, you know... But you're going to see, look at the crust we get. That's pretty crispy looking. Yeah. It's the... Oh, so the temperature's still way low. Way low. So one minute, not... I don't think it was a minute, but... No, I, uh, so if you're timing at home, depending on the thickness of your steak, the timing can be all different. That's why and you, you have should to always, have... And you probably still yes. should always check it every 30 seconds or yep. so. What's the worst thing that happens? You so check it you 10 check, times. You check it 10 times and it really... And it's perfect. Yeah. I mean, it's... You're not affecting it by checking it. Or at least so far in all of my tests, you're not affecting it by checking it. So you had this the other week. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't... How's the flavor? Um, you're gonna find the flavors are really good. Okay. And I, I and I made it last time with canola oil. Okay. And this time you got the beef this fat. This time so I'm doing beef fat. So beefy. I'm thinking extra beefy. Um, but it works in canola oil. Yeah, it works in canola oil. Anything you want to fry it in. And look at that crust. Up to about eighty. Okay, we're done. Woo! So it's been what about three minutes? Not long. Not long, about three minutes. So. We weren't very scientific in the timing, but. On a rack. Um, there's a piece of tendon along this back here that I okay. cut just so that it doesn't. Oh, so it doesn't curl? It doesn't curl. We'll All right, that. so we're going to sit it, have Love its it. moment of rest. I'll get a cutting board. Wait, 10 minutes. Great. Ooh. Well, it looks pretty good. So. I think it's maybe just a little overcooked, but... Can you cut it in half again for me, please? Certainly. Because I'm tasting. I don't know. Um, it's a big piece. But it's still nice and... Well, you get really good edge-to-edge -edge cooking. Yeah, it's like like the edging around the outside is like kind of equally all the way around. Yeah, you don't get that gray, that much of that gray ring. I should have pulled it maybe 30 or 40 seconds sooner. It's a tough timing. The flavor is great. And look at that crust. Juicy. It's really through. soft yeah. in the middle, and it's got a nice um, kind of crunchy, not Crunch, crunchy, but. Crunch or chew on the outside yeah. and, and a crust, and there's no oily, greasy flavor. No. No, that's definitely not. So, I don't think this. I don't think this takes the place of a backyard barbecue. Because you couldn't do this for a crowd, unless you've got a commercial deep fryer. But for a single steak, 
As much as it's tasty, it, it is missing that kind of... Barbecue has a completely different completely flavor Completely different to flavor. It. But if I was looking between, say, a pan-fried steak and a deep-fried steak... I don't know. Pan-fried? Because it's like, it's like when you do deep-fried turkey. There's no stuffing in the turkey. I feel oh, like this doesn't... Oh, you want the pan sauce. I like the pan sauce. That's true. So that's, that's so what's not in this one. Yeah, a little bit of cream I like that. And some little, butter and all that. Yeah, yeah. a little cognac. Okay. Just, that's the part you don't get There's with no this. There's no cognac with this, but... I could have a cognac on the side. You could have a cognac on the side. <laughs> and I, I, I think that people discount this too quickly. Okay, hold on. You're saying people discount it too quickly. We, it's deep people haven't even had it. That's true. So try it. So try it. Yeah, exactly. Um, and I don't understand why more people haven't tried this. I don't know. That I don't know. I don't know. We, we well, I should say you did a lot of research. Once you discovered it, you did a mm -hmm. lot of research to see who was doing it. And so, yeah, here's our introduction. Okay. You, go, no, you need to stop. <laughs> we need to put the other parts together and have an actual sit-down meal, shall we? So we've got French fries and deep-fried Brussels sprouts to go with this. Yeah, we've had a deep-fried extravaganza And have a deep-fried dinner. So all of these recipes are on the channel. Try deep-fried steak and leave a comment and let us know what you think. Yeah. Thanks for stopping by. See Here you again soon. Have one more piece. Oh, you're going to have one more. Well, you, I'll, eat the, I'll just finish it up before we, we set it out.